John chapter 19 and in verse 9. We'll start at verse 9. Pilate here is, I guess you would call it interrogating Jesus. And in verse 9, he said, He went again into the judgment hall, and he said unto Jesus, Whence art thou? Whence art thou? But Jesus answered, Jesus gave him no answer. Then Pilate said unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have the power to crucify thee and have the power to release thee? I really like this next verse. Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me except it were given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivereth me into unto thee hath the greater sin. So, uh, where he wouldn't answer Jesus, uh, go to Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah 53. What in verse 7? Verse 7 says, He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Hold your place there in, in Isaiah and go to 1 Peter. First Peter chapter 2. Look at verse 21. For even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who when he was reveled, reveled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges, judges right, righteously. Who his own self by our sin in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. I've heard a lot of people misquote this verse right here. For ye were as sheep going astray. We're not sheep. We're children of God. But he did use that terminology in, in the four Gospels to the Jews. And I heard a guy this morning preaching and use the same thing. But I, I'll agree with that he referred to the children of Israel as sheep. But we today are the sons of God. Yeah. It says, for we, we did too. We, we're going to stray just like they did. It says, for we as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd, the bishop of your soul. Uh, so like I said, there we're sons of God today. If, if you're uh, in the body of Christ, then you're a, a son of God, a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're not sheep. Although in Romans, uh, I think it's Romans chapter 15, verse 4, it says what was written aforetime was written for our learning, where he referred to them as sheep that they went astray, wouldn't listen to his word. We're doing the same thing today. And so that's for our learning. Everything in this book, even though a lot of it's not written to us, it's written for us. Amen. Yep. But we'll go back to John 